Good afternoon, good morning, everyone. Good afternoon, depending on the side of the world you're listening from. And good morning if you're in the United States, such as I. I'm your host, T-Mill, and this is Morning Mimosa. This is the time of year where you wake up in the morning. It's, it's beginning to be the first day of spring. And whether it's a glass, a cup, or a mug, we've got a mix of jazz and soul that's sure to wake you up and compliment your morning coffee, tea, or mimosa. Discover what's new, cherish the classic, and enjoy the ride. You can send questions and suggestions to our questions to our Facebook page at facebook.com Paradox East Radio. This is a brand new show for our network that we're building. Uh, Mimosa Morning, it's all about smooth jazz and soul, just that music that you can wake up to, start your day off on the right foot, feet preferably, hopefully you have two. But if you don't, if you're laying in the bed and no matter what morning you're waking up to, it's grateful and a blessing just to wake up. So... I know it could be difficult depending on the condition you're in when you wake up, but there's something about music that that helps transcend and helps you escape the reality or (laughs) the mundane. So Mimosa Morning is all about celebration, waking you up, energizing you, and helping you start your day off on the right foot. Jazz and smooth soul. This morning, we're going to do all jazz music. It's been a long time coming for for this indie jazz that I'm bringing you guys. And I'm very delighted that you guys can, can experience this. So in the first set, we've got Ann, Barbara Levy Daniels, and Larry Geld. Also music coming from Carol, Carol Fredette, Janice Borla Group, and Judy Philbin and Adam Levine. A lot more coming up. So I want you guys to relax. Turn your music up, whether you're listening on your phone, your computer, your laptop, your tablet, wherever you're listening from. Let everything else go and just relax. Take this ride with us. Mimosa Morning. This is Paradox East Radio.
One of the key elements of jazz mastery is the ability. One of the key elements of jazz mastery is the ability of the artist to tell stories through music, an art that many feel has been lost amidst too much focus on technological prowess. The remarkable guitarist Adam Smell indeed has stories to tell, as fully evidenced by his outstanding new CD, Out of the Blue like an anthology of short stories all connected by the vision of its author. Out of the Blue offers nine rich, perfectly plotted tales for the enjoyment and edification of its audience. That was Adam Blue, Adam Smell, I'm sorry, new start from the CD Out of the Blue. And now, at the tender age of 12, Young vocalist Barbara Levy Daniels was auditioning for ABC Paramount Records. Its president had invited no less than a personage than Ray Charles to listen and give an opinion. Sign her right away was the genius verdict. That was over 50 years ago. Followed by a number of singles in the 30-year in the practice in psychotherapy. Over the past 15 years, Barbara managed to find the time to create two highly acclaimed albums and now offers further testimony to Ray's endorsement with her new CD, Love, Lost, and Found. Right here on Mimosa Morning, this is Barbara Levy Daniels, Comes Love. Comes a rainstorm, put your rubbers on your feet. 
comes a snowstorm, you can add a little heat, comes love, nothing can be done. Comes a fire, you know just what to do, blow a tire, you can buy another shoe, comes love. in a day comes a toothache see the dentist right away comes love with a broom comes along nothing can be done that's our brother if you've ever been in love that's all brother you know what I've been speaking of comes a nightmare you can always stay awake comes depression you might get a lucky break comes love nothing can be done nothing can be done nothing can be done nothing can be child prodigy, Larry Gill began composing at eight years old. He was influenced by the film composers Hugo W. Friedhofer and Elmer Bernstein, along with Rogers and Hart, Harold Allen, and Jimmy Van Heusen. He became a professional jazz pianist as a teenager and began writing music and lyrics for dozens of shows for local theater groups. He developed his piano technique with the legendary Madame Kauf, who became his most important teacher, stressing the Russian classical piano school. Harmonically, he absorbed Bill Evans, Herbie Hancock, and Paul Blay. Larry has written over 800 songs to date, along with musicals and film scores. This morning on Morning Mimosa, Volume 1, we close out the first set with Larry Gelb, Love Walked In. This is Mo Morning Mimosa on Paradox East Radio. Good morning.
Welcome back to Mimosa Morning, smooth jazz to wake you up, get your day started, and to start you off on the right foot. Whether it's a glass, a cup, or a mug, this mix of jazz is sure to wake you up and complement your morning coffee, tea, or mimosa. Discover what's new, cherish the classic, and enjoy the ride. We invite you to send your questions and suggestions to our Facebook page. Paradox East Radio. You can also send us music, photos, all things jazz to info at Paradox East Radio. That last one was from Larry Gelb, Love Walked In. And now, Mike Bardash. 
I'm sorry, Carol, Carol Fredette. Carol Fredette grew up in the Bronx. She weaned on the music of Chet Baker, Stan Kenton, and Frank Sinatra. Barely 18 and fresh out of Florida State University, where she sang regularly with a college jazz band, she hit New York and immediately landed a gig at the Greenwich Village's infamous Page Three. At the Page, Carol formed close relationships with Sheila Jordan, Dave Frischberg, which have lasted to this day. Around the same time, she worked opposite Bobby Short at the Arpeggio when Carol auditioned for the Sal Salvador Band at Basin Street East. She was hired on the spot, then toured countrywide with this 17-piece band, which included Eddie Gomez, Micah Bean, Ronnie Cuber, stints with Larry Elgart, and Neil Hefty followed, and eventually Carol started touring with her own bands, one of the which included guitarist John Schofield. This led her to headline as a performer across three continents. And now on Mimosa Morning, this is Carol Fredette, No Sad Songs For Me. And Chris Spector gave a quote on the album. He says, Carol Fredette, No Songs For Me, quote, Back in the 70s when Chicago was first trying to make itself a hip destination Rather than a convention destination, an upmarket hotel had a two-week gig by Barbara Carroll in one of its lounges. No cover, no minimum, almost no audience either. It's either. Next time you want to bitch about life not being fair, think about how it sucks that Fredette didn't have a wider recognition west of the Hudson. A solid swinging vocalist whose power hasn't dimmed after more than 40 years in the game. For that smoky, unaffected delivery and voice would get you at hello. With Pablo Aslan, Helio Alves, and Roger Friedman on board to give this a unique four on the floor, samba feel, this rightfully and righteously admired vocalist by those in the know burnishes the legend that much deeper. Killer stuff from a top shelf vocalist that's lived the life and has no regrets. More people should have that attitude. Unquote. By Chris Spector, editor and publisher of Midwest Record. This is Carol Fredette. No sad songs for me. Good morning. I don't need a lesson in romance and obsession with heartache. And love lost at sea You need to know That I always go with a positive flow So don't sing some sad To me, to me If you are a master Of stories of disaster And darkness is all you ever see my enlightened spirit just doesn't want to hear it so please don't write some sad song for me the tearful tunes you share are what my system cannot bear so just imagine how unfair it would be if we vocalized and harmonized But never really realized That I am simply not in your key So don't sing some sad song to me
with your full tunes you share are what my system cannot bear. So just imagine how unfair it would be if we vocalized and harmonized, but never really realized that I am simply not in your key. So don't sing some sad song to me. Everyone knows, as far as happiness goes, the evidence shows, and I agree, that music reveals the way that you feel. So no sad songs. Welcome back to Mimosa Morning. I'm your host, T Mill. And I hope that you guys are ready for this. And we're here for the long haul. This is volume one in the series, Mimosa Morning. Now, whether you choose a glass, a cup, or a mug, this mix of jazz is sure to wake you up and compliment your morning coffee, tea, or mimosa. Right here. You can discover what's new, cherish the classic, and enjoy the ride. I want you guys to send your suggestions or questions to our Facebook page, Paradox East Radio, where you can show your support. Join in the conversation. This is brand new. We just started Paradox East Radio in the fall of last year. And jazz is only one facet of what we're going to be offering soul, R&B, hip-hop, music of all genres. Paradox East Radio is a multimedia organization. It's at the forefront of digital innovation. They create and distribute new, non non-biased info and music programming. We are preserving and progressing the culture here at Paradox East Radio. So, I like to bring you guys jazz in the mornings because it, it just does something to transform your day. As anything, the beginning is everything. A journey of a thousand miles begins with one single step. So this one step that you're taking this morning, whether it be to a job, whether it be to school, whether it's just waking up, cleaning up around the house, going out to run errands, whatever it is, kids in the house, you're by yourself, you're with a loved one, or you're sick and shut in, whatever it is, you can start your morning off on the right foot, the good foot, as James Brown would say. So you guys, take this journey with us, tell us what you want out of this show, Mimosa Morning. You could give me an explanation or a suggestion or an idea on the title, but I'm pretty stuck on mimosa mornings. I like mimosas, what could I say? And I happen to like coffee and jazz and, and tea, so. I want you guys to, to, to enjoy this ride and just know that this is something new and it's something that we're going to build upon, all right? Now, up next is Mike Bardash. The pianist stagger steps his Polygon CD into existence with brass tacks, a sideways funk that soon gets pumped by Gene Torres, percolating bass work, trumpeter Kenyatta Beasley, next taking over, saxist Deji Coker, trailing behind with Tony Lewis on the drums, all the while measuring the home ground until Bardash leaps back, surreally recapturing the quirky melody. This is fusion, y'all, but not the 70s kind you might be used to. More of the sort of thing Gil Evans and Mike Brecker might have worked up. 
had Gil been around a bit longer and grabbed the mic for serious collaborative work, Evans was ever a cool aficionado of multi-pointed synthesis with cinematic quasi-classicalist tendencies, while Mike always leaned hardcore into jazz. The combination of the two were Gil to restrain himself to quintet format instead of his favorite big band orchestral mode would have yielded a polygon kind of thing. So right here on Mimosa, next up, next up is Mike Vardash, Around the edge, Edges. This is Paradox East Radio.
Welcome back to Mimosa Morning. I'm your host, T Mill, and you're listening to Mimosa Morning. And as I said earlier, this is something new. This is volume one, playing nothing but jazz. And in the future, in a, f- a couple more volumes, we'll play soul and just smooth vocals of whatever genre to wake you up in the morning. Whether it's a glass, cup, or a mug, this mix of jazz and soul is sure to wake you up and compliment your morning coffee, tea, or mimosa. You can discover what's new, you can cherish the classic, and enjoy the ride right here on Paradox East Radio. Send your suggestions or questions to our Facebook page, Paradox East Radio. And up next, before I get too far ahead of myself, let me tell you, the intro that I read before Mike Bardash, that was by Mark S. Tucker, okay? That was by Mark S. Tucker. And this next musician, vocalist, jazz artist that we're going to get into is Janice Borla. Robert Bush writes, Promises to Burn. Media is what vocalist Janice Borla's new recording, Promises to Burn. What I first enjoyed with Miss Borla's work over the years is the fact that she rarely chooses to sing well-worn out standards. Here she is backed by some old and new friends, Scott Robinson, Art Davis, John McLean, Bob Bowman, and Jack Mouse, all who get to stretch out over the recording's eight tracks, including Funkarello, Jenny, Lenny's Pennies, Run For Your Life, and Silver Hollow. Here is a jazz singer who understands what a jazz sextet is, my kind of singer, and my kind of group, which she calls, not by accident, I'm sure, the Janice Borla Group. That's by Robert Rush. And Janice Borla, there's often a certain element of debate what makes someone a jazz singer, but in the case of outstanding vocalist Janice Borla, that debate will never take place. From the opening bars of her remarkable new album, Promises to Burn, on Tall Grass Records, there's no doubt that this is jazz at its pure finest. The vocalist with accompaniment approach for that of a fully integrated instrumental ensemble. She takes on eight challenging compositions, many of which would be unexpected material for a vocalist. To accomplish this successfully, a clear vision of structure is of structure is demanded, and Janice's formidable arranging artistry is fully up to the task. So right now, let's enjoy Janice Borla Group. This is Funkalero right here on Mimosa Morning on Paradox East Radio. <laughs> Looking for a word to say How I feel about today You see now everything is cold and gray Nothing seems to go my way Well this is such a funky attitude And I'm really in a terrible mood Excuse me if I'm being rude I'm just feeling funkalero Do you know what I mean? When a word just doesn't fit I crawl down inside of it And then I stretch it out a little bit Call on my prodigious wit And though it really makes some folks see red I just do it here inside of my head I think that I'll go back to You see I'm feeling f- You see I'm feeling funkalero Do you know what I mean? Thank you. 
Sorry for that technical difficulty. I hope you guys can can excuse that and it sounds as if we are coming across a little bit of difficulty in the show. So let's try this again. Let's move on to Judy Philbin and Adam Levine, Besame Mucho. Before that was Janice Borla Group, Funkalero, and I'm telling you, I was feeling it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about you guys, I'm I'm feeling a little Funkalero, Funkalero, Funka Funka Elro. <laughs> um, and no, I haven't had that many mimosas this morning. But I really hope that this works out. Uh, quality, as you know, streaming online has its Obstacles, roadblocks. This isn't my first rodeo. So let's try Funk Alero right here on Mimosa Morning. <laughs> Looking for a word to say How I feel about today You see now everything is cold and gray Nothing seems to go my way Well this is such a attitude And I'm really in a terrible mood Excuse me if I'm being rude I'm just feeling funkalero Do you know what I mean? When a word just doesn't fit I crawl down inside of it And then I stretch it out a little bit Call on my prodigious wit And though it really makes some folks see red I just do it here inside of my head I think that I'll go back to you see, I'm feeling Funkalero. Do you know what I mean? Thank you. 
Welcome, 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 and good morning, you guys. We're coming to the last set of music, and I hope you're off to a great morning such as I. You've got your coffee, your glass, your mimosa, your orange juice, your tea, whatever it is. Let me know what, let me know what wakes you up in the morning. You know, leave us a comment on the show page. Tell us about your morning routine, some suggestions you have for waking up without Folgers in your cup, <laughs> so, um, you know, and let us know what, what's the best way for you to wake up, you know, share us just anything, any ideas of your morning, um, I know a lot of you guys take photos and photography, of looking, of looking at morning photos, you know, landscapes and scenery, and coincidentally this morning, uh, early this morning, I was reading about how to unwind. Now, I've, I've already waken up for the day, but it suggested watching these scenic videos along with, you know, tranquil music and just relaxing music before you go to bed to kind of unwind, unplug your brain from all the nonsense and all the stress and all the coming and going of the day. So kind of a way to unwind. I know some people have a nightcap. Some people read. Some people pray or meditate. Or some people just go to bed and wonder why they have crazy nightmares. But for me at least, I'm going to try that into my routine. To unwind, watch some scenic videos and scenery. I might have a nightcap while watching it. And it'll just let my mind unplug. Like, Could you imagine how good of sleep you could get? If your mind was totally unplugged before you go to sleep, because think about it before you go to bed, a lot of that, what you're plugged into and a lot of things that your mind is thinking about, it's still going on while you sleep, your subconscious. So talking about waking up and good morning and everything like that, let me know your routine for waking up. Some of the things you love about your or, or, uh, some of the things that you've made tradition waking up in your house, some of the memories you have of growing up, waking up in the morning. I'll tell you one of mine. I don't know how my mother did it. I, c I can't do it to this day with my children, but my mother could cook an entire meal. My grandmother, too, for that matter. They could cook an entire meal. I'm talking about pancakes, sausage, grits, eggs, gravy, 
orange juice, freshly squeezed orange juice because they old school. Bacon. Well, my mother was baking. My grandmother didn't fool around with bacon. Maybe turkey bacon or something or some chicken. But they could cook an entire meal without waking me up. And my grandmother, I can remember her coming up the steps when we stayed at her house and wake us up to come downstairs. Or she would yell to the top of her lungs until we woke up. Or the smell would wake us up. Like with my mother, the smell would wake me up. And I could smell pancakes or I'd smell eggs or I'd smell gravy. And I could wake up, get out the bed, or she would just surprise me. Now, this would be the best of surprising me. I'd wake up and then there's a plate of food next to my bed and it's already done. You know, good morning. Now, I've dated a lot of women and <laughs> I can't say I've been married once. I could think, you know, my ex-wife, I think she she did it a couple times to wake to wake me up with that. But very few women um, can, can, can master that. Um, and my future wife, she's pretty good at it as well. Um, just, just cooking without waking anyone up. I don't know. Maybe I bang pots and pans around too much. I swear to baby Jesus that I try to stay quiet and I try to, you know, turn the water on just a little bit, you know, put the pans on the stove and, you know, turn down the, you know, the oven or whatever it is, the, the noise that I'm doing. And I swear my children wake up every single time, like in the middle of it. It's kind of annoying, but let me know some of you guys, the ways that you wake up, some of the things that you love about waking up. And, um, this is our last set that we're coming to. And now before we get into our last set, let me also remind you guys of a couple of things going on in your area, especially in the New York area. Now, Smalls Jazz Club, it's New York's cutting edge jazz club located on 183 West 10th at 7th Ave. 183 West 10th at 7th Avenue. So all of you in New York City, listen up. Today at 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., the early bird session hosted by the Dwayne Clemens Quintet. Also at 10.30 p.m. Also at 10.30 p.m. tonight to 1 a.m., the Steve Davis Group. And midnight to close is round midnight with the Carlos, I can't even pronounce that last name, Quintet. And then tomorrow, March the 28th, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m., $10 for non-musicians, the Friday afternoon open jam session. Also, the Tardo Hammer Trio, the Steve Davis Group. And later on that night, the Charles Ruggiero group. They've got things going on every single day there. And I want you guys to go and check out Smalls Jazz Club. You go to smallsjazzclub.com. Check out some of the events. You can also live stream some of these events. So if you're not in the New York area, you can't make it, you're too sick to get out of bed or lazy, you can log on and watch from the comfort of your home, as I will. <laughs> on a lot of these events and at Smalls Jazz Club. All right. So this is the very last set. I've got music coming up from Judy Philbin and Adam Levine. My good friend, Laura Ainsworth. I had the pleasure of interviewing her. A phenomenal interview that I can't wait for you guys to hear. You can go on mixcloud.com slash tmill205. And you can listen to the interview with Laura Ainsworth. We'll have it loaded to, to the site page very soon. You can type in Laura Ainsworth, T-Mill, Paradox East Radio, whatever of the sort, and you can find it. The interview is phenomenal. Her album is extraordinary. Laura Ainsworth, Necessary Evil. Uh, she's fun, I tell you. She's She's got a good sense of humor and very, very open-minded. And just full of knowledge. Like she's got so much knowledge and so many experiences, so many stories. Um, she's one of those people that you, I could listen to tell stories all day long about her life. She probably wouldn't like it because she's heard all these stories before. But she's so experienced. So closing out, we've got Judy Philbin and Adam Levine with Bessa Mae Mucho. Laura Ainsworth, 
with Necessary Evil and Untempered Ensemble. It's not other people's good wishes that make one rich, but one's own destiny. Try saying that five times fast. This is Mimosa Morning. I've had a great time with you guys, and I hope that this volume one is the first of many. It will be the first of many, several. I want you guys to tell me what you like about it. Tell me what you don't like about it besides the feedback, the audio glitches, and so forth. Tell me what you would like to hear. Suggest some music. And if you would like your music played, or if you have any suggestions, ideas, critique, or reviews, or you just want to continue to support, want to continue to support, you can go to Facebook and find us at Paradox East Radio. Paradox East Radio. Paradox, P-A-R-A-D-O-X, East, E-A-S-T, Radio, Paradox East Radio. This is the beginning of many broadcasts, podcasts, and as we start, you know, today, as of today, we're starting out with four likes on Facebook. You know, we just started this page, and we're starting from ground roots. We're not doing any of the crazy Get 20 million likes for 19.99 while supplies last, and for another 19.99 we'll throw in the president to like your page. No, we don't want that. We want ground roots, real people, not robots, to like our page. Tell us what they like, and then enjoy. A lot of other shows are going to be coming, you guys. This is one of many. This is Mimosa Morning. Before we get out of here, I definitely have to shout out. Kate Smith from Kate Smith Promotions, Richard Anton, and all of the artists that you've heard right here on Mimosa Morning. Adam Smale, Barbara Le- Levy Daniels, Larry Gelb, Carol Fredette, the Mike Bardash Quintet, Janice Borla Group, Judy Philbin and Adam Levine, Laura Ainsworth, and Un. This has been a pleasure. And I will see you guys on the next Mimosa Morning. Have a great morning. Bésame, bésame mucho Como si fuera esta noche la última vez Bésame, bésame mucho Que tengo miedo perderte, perderte después Sentirte muy cerca, mirarme en tus ojos, verte junto a mí. Piensa que tal vez mañana yo estaré lejos, muy lejos de ti. Bésame, bésame. Mirarme en tus ojos, verte junto a mí. Bien,
piensa que tal vez mañana yo estaré lejos, muy lejos de ti. Oh, bésame, bésame mucho, como si fuera esta noche la última vez. To be good and do the things you should, you give up everything that you enjoy. But if you slip a bit and your heart says this is it, that's a necessary evil, my boy, my boy. All your friends say you're a fool and you won't break any rules with all the saintly virtues you employ. This fling makes your soul begin to sing. That's a necessary evil, my boy. Well, a man sometimes has to sip of the grape, cast his eye on a lovely shape. Then sometime a way to desire. If a man says he don't, he's not a man, he's a liar. So don't let yourself be sad If what looks good is bad Reach out, accept the things that bring you joy And when you feel inclined It'll help to keep in mind That's a necessary evil, my boy Well, a man sometimes has to Sip at the grape Cast his eye on a Lovely shape. Then sometime a way to desire. If a man says he don't, he's not a man, he's a liar. So don't let yourself be sad. his eye on a lovely shape then sometime a way to desire if a man says he don't he's not a man he's a liar so don't let yourself be sad if what looks good is bad reach out accept the bring you joy a 
Thank you for listening to Mimosa Mornings. Hope you have guys have a great, great morning wherever you are. And whether it's a glass, cup, or a mug, this mix of jazz is sure to wake you up and compliment your morning coffee, tea, or mimosa. You can discover what's new, cherish the classic, and enjoy the ride. Send your suggestions or questions to our Facebook page, Paradox East Radio. You can email us your music. If you would like to be on the show, at info at Paradox East Radio. Remember, comment on the page. Tell us what you like. Tell us what you don't like. Share some of your favorite morning routines, some of your favorite things to eat, drink, enjoy in the morning. This is Volume 1, Mimosa Morning. Music from Adam Smale, Barbara Levy Daniels, Larry Gelb, Carol Fredette, the Mike Bardash Quintet, the Janice Borla Group, Judy Philbin and Adam Levine, Laura Ainsworth, and closing with Untempered Ensemble. This is Paradox East Radio.